I think anyone who knows you knows the story of the flag on La Placita. <laughs> so I, I'll tell you that uh, for me, I loved that story. I loved what you did there. We'll tell all of our listeners that are not from here. Um, you opened a restaurant in Mimo. Yeah. That has a gigantic facade. It was a big five-story building. Mm-hmm. And you painted, it's a Puerto Rican restaurant. Like, um, mm-hmm. I guess what would you compare it, like, Puerto Rican-wise? Like, uh, simple food, oh, uh, this approachable is home, This food. is Puerto Rican home cooking. Right. This is recipes. Actually, I do a couple of recipes from my mom, from my, my great-grandmother. I was a cooking teacher. And my mom has all her recipe books, and I have them in my house. And I try to take some stuff from them, stuff that my mom taught me. And, you know, the rest is just stuff that I like to eat from Puerto Rico. I'm bringing it here because I have a lot of Puerto Rican customers that always tell me, you know, when are you going to open a Puerto Rican restaurant? You're Puerto Rican. You should be doing Puerto Rican food, you know. So there's no Puerto, there's no good Puerto Rican restaurants. In, there's not many good Puerto Rican restaurants in, in, in Miami. And I want to do a version of it. Uh, the whole flag thing. You want to get into it? I, That's I, what I, 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 was, I, I wanted to give people because context. Because so. there's a very bad perception of what I did there. And I want to... I want to oh, clear, no, that's good. So we'll, I want to clear, I wanna clear well, it up. But basically, it's what, a five-story building, right? It's a five-story building. So on top of the restaurant, on the side of the building, you did a... I painted half of the building. You painted <laughs> half of the building half as of a the Puerto building. Rican flag. Yeah. Yes. Right. And then some people got upset. Oh! <laughs> some... <laughs> And um, and there was an uproar by some people, and uh, for me, yeah, go just yeah, go for on, me. I'm gonna basically for, say for, it, for me was you know and I, and I, and I want to clear this up because let's clear the air. It wasn't like I just say I want to put a big Puerto Rican flag there, you know, just to fuck with everybody. No, it wasn't like that. There was a movement in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria, a a painter Hector Acevedo yeah. was going. Town by town, bringing people together and painting himself with the people of the community a building with a Puerto Rican flag. And he accomplished um, 70% of all the towns in Puerto Rico. In the middle of him doing that, we are opening this restaurant. My partner, Julian Hill, had the idea, why don't we bring Hector to do the flag here? It's an amazing idea. Amazing idea. He agrees. By the way, Hector didn't charge us a penny to do this. Wow. He, we, he, it's the first time he ever flew in a plane. No way. You know, yeah, he, he came and he did this. We went. We got the permit to do this. We got the permit. The permit, you know, was approved. We have the permit to do it. We had one day to do it. Okay? So we start painting the building with, with, with this, you know, with the good intentions here. We're not trying to mess with anybody. And just... The nastiness that came out of it was yeah. just, I've never seen anything like it in my whole time in the United States. Explain in the nastiness. 20 years. Explain I've never the seen nastiness. the racism oh, and, yeah. the, and the stuff that being said. Uh, we have proof. I mean, we've been through this. You know, we went to the city. We won, you know, at the end. But I mean, we have proof of people, uh, uh, neighbors putting, bring back the prostitutes and drug addicts. They're better people than them. He had, and them saying he had, you. I, I had a lady in front of me screaming, we don't want brown people here. You know. You're not brown. Man. I'm like. <laughs> you don't have a tan. I'm like, what is this? I've never experienced this in my life. And we are spending a life. And so I have the permit. Stop me. Call the cops. Cops come. There's the permit. Oh, yes, you have the permit. You can do it. You have the permit. Yeah. Well, can- oh, well, what we didn't know was that we had to get another permit. But why are you give me the permit if I have to get another permit? It doesn't make sense. It's not, a lot of things. In what my was head, the other permit? The other permit has to be by the MIMO board. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but yeah. they didn't say that when, when we paid for the other permit. It's cool how they're so easy with, like, um, yeah. hookers and all the other things that happen and to MIMO. About MIMO. The thing about MIMO and all this, all this the MIMO association that were, like, really bad to us, calling the cops nightly for having music play in a very low volume. Calling the cops. We have 76 violations in a year. Um, We're probably pretty close. Stopping service and the atmosphere of the restaurant. You know, you know, messing with us, you know, like bad, like just bad. What are they, what are they trying, they're trying to preserve Mimo, they say. I mean, I've been here 20 years. You've been here longer. What are they trying to preserve? Nothing. What was Mimo? Nothing. We made this a, a, a tourist point, bringing people in to take pictures with the flag. Neon lights. You know, people are coming 
from everywhere to take, you know Puerto Ricans mostly you take I what I really enjoyed about the story and I didn't know all the other stuff I didn't know that he was going from town to town which even gives me more reason to like the story was it was after the hurricane and the Puerto Rican community community was was hurting well, you know what I'm saying well you know how many people came to paint the flag with him yeah that day we have videos more than more than 50 people showed up yeah. celebrities the uh, mayor Francis Suarez came in to bless to bless it and he got he had to run away because they start screaming at him like how can you do this ah. the guy had you know he came in in his goodwill because he's friends with my partner Julian to, to, to give the you know the blessing and he got you know ran away like he get out get, he had to leave so we we did this with the best intention I'm telling you and it's nothing to bra brag about oh we put the Puerto Rican flag you know like it's something that is beautiful to me, something that we accomplished that I'm very proud of, and we fought for it, and we lost a lot of money in this, a lot of money, a lot on that shit. And it's there, we won, but we didn't win because, because, we, we win because Mimo fucked up. That's what we won. I like the story and, even more now. And they, la they let another person keep the flag, keep, keep not a flag, keep a mural. That's down that the street, right? That was illegal on organic bites. Yeah, yeah. And they had a confidential agreement they couldn't disclose. Oh, that's good. So I think Joe Carroyo, in the whole time, that I thought he hated us, you know, but at the time he made a very good solution. But, you know, you have a, a agreement with Organic Bites that undisclosed with the MIMO organization. You don't want to tell me what it is, right? But you're telling me that part of the agreement is that they have to take the flag down at one point. So you know what? They're going to keep the flag until you take that, that, that mural. So That was Joe Carroyo? That was Joe Carroyo. Wow. That's pretty... I mean, the, whole, the rest of the time he hated us. <laughs> <laughs> the guy is like, listen, take the thing down. Nobody goes to a restaurant for a flag. They go for the food. If the food is good, people are going to come. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, but they don't, they don't, you know the sentiment that goes behind a flag. Absolutely. I feel bad the day the flag has to come down. The person that had to paint it over better wear, you know, some type of <laughs> bulletproof vest or <laughs> because, because they're going to throw rocks at him. And yeah. Puerto Ricans are very proud of their flag, just like any, anybody, any other countries. Yeah.